With your latest ESPN headline, I'm Jorge Andres. We're talking Cleveland Browns football. That's why we bring in uh, ESPN.com Browns reporter Pat McMenamin, Josh Gordon, the wide receiver for the Browns in trouble. Again, Pat, uh, what are the consequences that uh, Josh Gordon faces now that it is another reoccurring uh, issue with substance abuse policy that the NFL has? Well, his main issue, Jorge, is, is the failed test that outside the lines reported during the draft. Uh, and he's already coming off a four, two-game suspension last year when he couldn't play two games and then had played two games for free without pay. So actually it was a four-game suspension. But he's in step three in the program. One more means he's banned for a minimum of a year. Uh, he was arrested for speeding, which in and of, of itself, you know, it happens. But a passenger in his car had marijuana on their person. It's not a good look for Gordon. It's not a good look for the Browns. And I think at this point, I think everybody involved, especially the team, would like some clarity on what's going to happen and probably have it happen sooner rather than later. So now with those ongoing issues for Josh Gordon, what happens next in terms of the coaching staff and the franchise regarding uh, Josh Gordon and those issues that he's had? Mike, Coach Mike, uh, Mike Patton said today the Browns have a plan uh, with him or without him. And with him, it's pretty obvious what the plan is. He's the main focal point of the offense. He's the guy everybody has to worry about. Without him, they're scrambling. Uh, they've brought in a couple of veteran receivers to try to take some of the load. And I think their main goal is to try to, as opposed to have one main guy, is to spread the ball around a lot and see if that can make up for Gordon's loss. It would be extremely difficult on the field because he is one of the best players in the league. Well, the trouble is for wide receiver Josh Gordon continue with the Cleveland Browns off the field. Breaking it all down for us, he is ESPN.com Browns reporter Pat McMenamin. And remember, you can read more about this story right here on ESPN.com.